Hi, Tim here from World of Sweets. Uh, here with the uh, current treats and uh, uh, real small about mail haul. Uh, since uh, since I last current reads, I did finish one book. I uh, finished uh, Inspector of the Dead by David Morrell. Uh, it's a library book, and I have I realized I have to. It's due back at the library tomorrow, so I'll either be returning it tonight, or if I can get a ride over to the library during the day tomorrow, I'll get it done then because the library closes at five on Fridays. Uh, it's a Victorian thriller that that uh, or it's a thriller that takes place in Victorian London where. Uh, it's a second in the series of, of the Thomas De Quincey uh, series where uh, in this one there's a, 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 a serial killer uh, that's been uh, wearing uh, that, uh, uh, some elite uh, uh, political figures and their families in uh, in uh, London and uh, so and uh, so it's put a scare on everybody in London and uh, they've been leaving notes that uh, uh, leaving hints that they uh, that they might be after Queen Victoria and uh, so uh, and so, so the main characters from the first book Inspector of the Dead uh, they're out to uh, find this killer. See, this takes place, uh, or, I mean, the, the character is a murderous fine art. Uh, or this takes place a few months after that. They're uh, out to find, uh, find this uh, murderer uh, before they can uh, get to uh, Queen Victoria and, and her family. And uh, I uh, just like uh, Murderous Fine Art. Uh, I I gave this a uh, five star rating on Goodreads. I'll leave a link to uh, I'll leave a link to it uh, down below in the uh, in the box. Uh, that's all I got read during the week. Uh, what I'm uh, reading at present, I'm still reading Digital Fortress. I know it seems like it's been taking forever. The problem is the chapters in here. It's they're like two to four pages long, and it seems like they take forever because with me reading multiple books, I switch between you know, read a chapter of one and switch off between them. Plus, I, I'm the type that likes books with chapters of like ten, ten to fifteen pages long. This one just seems to be dragging on and on for some reason, but I'm getting there with it. it it's, not, it's not a bad story, it's just uh, taking a while. And then, uh, I have to pull this one up. Uh, and since uh, the last one, I know oh, I said I didn't know what... Uh, about what I wanted to read for an ebook or whether I was going to read one and I decided I did want to uh, uh, do a ebook. I got onto Cloud Library again because I I turned in uh, the the Black Echo uh, since it uh, by uh, Michael Connolly and uh, I checked out uh, uh, another uh, another one that this one's uh, uh, this this one's uh, 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 the second one of the, the series because I've read the first already and uh, uh, the book is. Uh, Die Trying by Lee Child. So far, per, it's pretty good. Uh, 
this one uh, it starts out he's walking in uh, along in uh, uh, in downtown Chicago Walk, uh, he's right in front of a uh, 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 dry uh, dry cleaners and uh, lady comes out carrying some uh, business suits and uh, she uh, has a crutch that uh, she uh, she has a uh, bad knee and uh, she stumbles and uh, uh, Jack catches her and he grabs hold of her dry cleaning so she so it doesn't fall on the ground and he helps her with her uh, crutch and all of a sudden some guys jump them and force them into a car and kidnap them. Well, the, it turns out this lady's an FBI agent and now the FBI is trying to find her and uh, because uh, of a uh, of uh, uh, some stuff that she's working on and uh, that's all uh, further I'll, uh, I'll go on that one I'm uh, not uh, that's I'm not much further than that in there that I can really say too much about it and then I I've uh, also started uh, uh, Saving Faith by David Baldacci. Yeah, on that, uh, Jack Reacher wouldn't allow the chapters are like five, six pages, so they're, uh, that's a little better in length. But this one, that they're more my length. They're allowed them around 12, 13 pages. Uh, and this one I just started the other day. I'm trying to get out here these done uh, uh, next, by next Wednesday at the latest since uh, Thursday is the start of March Mystery Madness and with me being one of the hosts I want to have it, have all these done by then so I can just start uh, don't have to worry about any of these and get started on uh, my books for March Mystery Madness right away but uh, with this book uh, uh, it's about uh, there's been a murder attempt on a lady that's been put into uh, named Faith that's put, that's going into witness protection uh, with the FBI because uh, she was uh, uh, talk, uh, pretty much uh, telling them about her, uh, her employer who's been uh, 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 pretty much a corrupt lobbyist that's uh, pretty much co corrupted some politicians and uh, so yeah they're so uh, they were pretty much doing a sting operation of all of them and uh, so they've put her in witness protection but uh, uh, somebody's uh, there somebody's trying to assassinate her to get her out of the game and and a uh, uh, private detective that somebody uh, that he didn't even need to uh, client to hire him sent to uh, uh, sent to uh, follow her, and he found out where the guy just had or there they've made the the as a safe house that's in the middle of some woods in the middle of nowhere, and he. So the assassination attempt, he did, couldn't really see the guy, but he did manage to shoot at the guy because he saw some muzzle flashes and he shot him with the, with the edge of uh, the uh, assassin with this, uh, with this, uh, with this uh, pistol, but uh, it didn't tip, but the assassin managed to shoot the uh, FBI agent that was uh, that was uh, guarding the this one who had to shot him uh, uh, when they got out of the car, and uh, so uh, and they got out of there even before the, uh, going into the cabin. But see this. Uh, 
private detective had it, uh, broken into the cabin uh, and uh, they called him on uh, video cameras and so now the FBI is trying to find uh, trying to find him and the woman so and uh, that so that's all what I'm reading now and uh, and for after that I'm still working on my TBR by for March Mystery Madness I like I said I usually don't make a TBR but it will be for the next month for March Mystery Madness for that portion of it anyway I have four of the six books figured out already I have tomorrow like I said when, when I go to the library, I'll be uh, uh, yeah, getting the a book for the borrow category, which uh, I think I know which one I'll be getting because uh, the, I was looking at the one that it says that they have at the one branch library I go to. It says that they that it's available there because I had picked up a book at the at Dollar Tree. Uh, past year and it said that it's a third in the series and uh, it shows that they had the first two of it at the library at, at the branch library over by me and I figured I'll get the first one and read that for uh, March Mystery Madness use that as borrowed and the other one I'm going to is a something for the new end I'm going to check what I have on my uh, in my Kindle library, I know I have some that have been uh, published within the past year. I think I uh, recently uh, downloaded something that's been published uh, this recently published this year, even that I might uh, read for the uh, new category. And uh, then I have, but I'll be getting the. Uh, my TBR up probably Monday for that, a TBR video for that. Then uh, today I got a package from in the mail from Elizabeth of Lizzie Fellow's book and what was uh, those books that uh, and uh, had two books in there. I wasn't expecting these books. Uh, the first one is. Uh, uh, the Forgotten by Faye Kellerman. It looks like it's a crime thriller or mystery. It's uh, uh, looks like uh, something like a uh, husband and wife team in this one. Uh, well, at least the husband's a LAPD uh, homicide detective I'm seeing on the back. And uh, she knows that I like uh, crime thrillers and mysteries. And the other one is The Monuments Men. I haven't seen the movie. I have, I've been wanting to see it and I thought it looked interesting and I uh, think she knows I like uh, this, I heard me say I like uh, World War II uh, books too so and this is non-fiction so so uh, that, that should be an interesting read for me also. Well, that's all I have for you uh, this time, and so until uh, next time, take it easy and keep on reading.